I was living in a house that really wasn't habitable. There was no electricity, and there was no running water. I was basically almost homeless. I never asked for help. If something needed to be done, I did it. And at that point in my life, I was just like, I knew I needed help, but I was afraid to ask for it. The beginners are going to be working on creating a phone list. The uh, intermediate and advanced students, I'm assuming, are already a little bit familiar with Excel or maybe have used it before. I'm Lisa Culp and I'm the Executive Director of Women's Empowerment and I founded Women's Empowerment in 2001. I just returned after working 10 years in Nicaragua, primarily with women and children. And one of the things that I learned there was that if you really want to impact the community, work with the women. Because when you reach out and you help a woman, you help the whole family. The mission of Women's Empowerment is to educate and empower women with the skills and the confidence that they need to secure that job. My name is Kathy McMullen. I've been at Intel for 18 years, and I've been working at Women's Empowerment for about the last five years. I'm passionate about volunteering at Women's Empowerment because I have strong beliefs of equality, and I see situations where women are not being treated equally. I think helping the homeless women not only helps that woman, but their children. You're helping so many more people than just one person. It was clear to me that we needed to begin a program that would address the root causes of homelessness. And that happens through training and education and the ability to get and keep a job. The Women's Empowerment Program is an eight-week course. What Intel offers is the teaching of computer basics for six of those eight weeks. It's a holistic program, and they're really trying to address homelessness in a way that makes sure that these women are not uh, repeat homeless and setting the example for their children so that their children won't end up being homeless as well. I kind of was stuck here in Sacramento and I felt almost hopeless. Me and my ex-husband had purchased the house, but it wasn't really livable. I was just too prideful to tell my family. I was desperate for some kind of help. One day when I came in, I mean, my life was just in shambles, you know? I didn't know what was gonna happen next. When I came here, I just not only didn't have my self-esteem, I felt like I wasn't worth anything. When you start to interact and hear these stories, you, you kind of think, you're not that much different than I am, right? If something were to happen to me tomorrow and I lose my job, what happens from there? I started with women's empowerment and the classes taught me to let go of the guilt and the shame I had from what happened in my life and Intel helped me to realize that I still had the knowledge in my head, I just had to use it. Everything that we did there was pretty hands-on and they had volunteers from Intel there all the time. The women at Women's Empowerment made me feel like I was worth something. In the 11 years since Women's Empowerment was founded, we have 979 women who have graduated. These women were homeless in the streets of Sacramento. 93% of them are in more stable housing and 74% of them are working or going to school. Me and my daughter are buying a house together. I have worked all summer and I'm also gonna be the manager of the Watt Avenue Liberty Tax Office this next year. With all the skills that I've learned, I got another job that helped me even purchase my own house now. The mission of Women's Empowerment is to educate and empower women with the skills and the confidence that they need to secure that job. And our partnership with Intel is essential, is crucial to the fulfillment of that mission. I really commend Intel for dedicating over 1,000 hours each year to help women rebuild their lives. And I love to share that with other businesses and community groups because I think it's such a powerful message to say, invest in women and our community will be healthier, stronger, and better for everyone. She will be strong. She will bring hope and creativity to the future generations. She will change the lives of thousands of men, women, and children. She will help in homelessness. She will be a great role model. She will change the world. No. She will get a job, buy a car, and own a home. She will be a great mom. <laughs>